We do not want to be eating food with mycotoxins in them because mycotoxins are toxins and they're serious toxins. And so I think with all of the exposures and, you know, I'm leaving out all the research in this area that shows that specific pesticides lower our microbial diversity. So they have a direct effect on how resilient and how strong our microbiome is, but they also decrease that mucin layer, which gives the microbiome no place to live. So if they don't have any place to live, they're not going to be there. Right. They, you know, we had, we used to think they just floated around and, you know, lumen of the intestines, just having a good old time, but no, they need a very uh, food rich environment to live in. And so if they don't have it, so if you have a patient that you're trying to restore their microbiome and that, you know, or if you are a patient and you're taking, you know, gobs and gobs of probiotics, but the home for the microbiome in your intestines is being destroyed by pesticides and what I'm going to talk about next, it won't work. 